That's uh, pretty good. Running straight back. Battlefield is the pick. Oh, wait, I'm a liar. You yes. remember all that explanation you we gave you know, about Chrome? Forget it. For, forget all of that. We're trying something different. We're trying something new. He did get 2 0 in winner's yeah. finals, so hey. Yeah. It's, it's worth it. And this is my first time seeing him pull out the Chrome in this matchup. I've only seen the Roy. So I want to see the like the new take on it also. I wonder if the stuff that uh, that Carflow was naturally applying in Winner's Finals, yeah. like the the prepping, the ledge trapping on the platform, so you could get uh, drop through fairs, yeah. the range of setting up the range for down tilts and forward tilts, like all that stuff is really good up air juggles. Yeah. With Roy, but with Crom, you get that extra half step backwards, oh, yeah. which then gives numbers that much more room to try and traverse when coming off of ledge. Yeah. And. Oh. Oh. He's oh, not able to. Oh. The Wait, there was so good from numbers holding out towards. Yeah. Uh, holding back towards Krom so the hits, uh, the full hits wouldn't connect and finding reversal. And. That's it. Okay. Just barely making it back. Yeah. Good magnet hands, but it does lead to the Krom problem yeah. as Carful was able to take the stock. Your advantages on stage are so good. You move so well. The character just works for so long and for so in so many situations especially for a player who plays as fast as Carflow does yeah and, and then you get put off stage yeah <laughs> Carflow was playing nice Dilly now 48 after taking that stock and this complete momentum change right there you would think like after like a stock like that it will just be like all John but no Carflow is still swinging a lot of heart in them right now yeah, just extra little trade-offs of proving dividends, not only that four tilt, but in in, uh, in John's favor, you don't have to worry about sweet spot jab anymore. Krom's jab is consistent, yeah. which means being up close, you can grab it after it stales once, which is uh, much, much better. But you also have to contest with soaring slash as an out-of-shield option, which is really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's too good, actually. Yeah. It's way better okay. than Ether as a out of shield option. It's a recovery yeah. move, it's about the same. Yeah, it's actually a little worse. worse it's, actually. it's a little worse, <laughs> actually, yeah. So a couple rolls, yeah. though. Carfo still holding that lead, but this that's, this is. Oh! Miss? John, a rare um, miss. Just needed to charge. Just needed to do the salutation. Yeah. It, it, just, just one more. That's the, a fold. John yeah. folded. All right, but able to take the stock right there, not getting much damage dealt onto them. Oh, great clank on the grab from Carflow. But you're eating up uh, quite a bit of damage. The threat range from Numbers is still sitting here, though they multiple times jumping straight back to ledge, and it worked up uh, worked up on the third time, doing so much damage and keeping this game very, very even. Yeah, and oh, okay, the ledge trap right there. And not committing to the bear right now. Surprising. That felt like it could have ended numbers right there, but now numbers are having an, another lease on life. Yeah, I guess just not reacting thanks to the little bit less hit stun on uh, Krom's jab. Uh, with Roy, you get yeah. that extra hit stun rather because of the sweet spots. Can numbers find this reversal? No, a forward tilt comes in on the roll getup. Wow, the volleyball hits in. And Dare again Dare? closing it out. <laughs> They hit him in the head set. saying, yo, why you got hit by that? Why did he get hit by that? <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? I mean, this feels like such a desperate move from John. It's like, all right, I dash attacked. I'm scared. Deep breathing. I'm just going to jump in and down at And you know what this loses to? Everything. But yeah. I feel like that might have been like a prep for a forward tilt. That's a great emote, yeah. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody, yeah, just, just. Cut that out for me. Yeah. Thanks. I'll make that an emote. That's a good one. Yeah, Thanks. we'll just. You know, here's a few different frames. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get a real nice, real nice shot of that. Let's get into it. All right, Carful starting off with a strong lead, as they did game one. Also, so John is not a stranger to making a comeback. Very nice. But a comeback like this he might be a bit foreign. Yeah, you, you gotta. You, Got your work cut out for you, especially Krom on Battlefield. These falling up airs are landing, the juggles are happening, and the the pressure is certainly there. But good discipline from John to avoid all of that soaring slash the armor, but gotta watch that shield yeah. as well. Yo, that was a that was like a giant skittle right there. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like numbers, especially in a position where things just keep going from bad to worse, you need to find 
you need to push the envelope a little bit more. It's yeah. instead of just waiting for Carflow to overcommit and fall off stage, it's a matter of, hey, I need to put you off stage now. I can't yeah. just hang out on these platforms and wait for you to like overcommit or whiff or overshoot uh, in a wrong place. It's, hey, uh, things need to happen here and I've got to make them happen. Good drift in order to avoid that oh. with a counter. Yeah, and that, kind of, that lasted forever. Okay, this shooting the sun salutation to get back. And if I'm drawn, I'm definitely like trying to download any situation. Even if they lose this game, they have do have another set to play with. This is just now research gathering. Yeah. Exactly. You do play to win, but... Yeah, everyone preps against Roy yeah. so much that Krom offers a different beast as well uh, with that uh, with that tech chase down tilt. So good at car float, staying disciplined on the ground and only committing to the air when they know they can pressure some of these juggles up air to down air. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. Numbers avoided the soaring slash follow up, but I wanted it so yeah. bad. <laughs> <laughs> you woke up and chose violence. Yeah, <laughs> it would have been sick. <laughs> we don't see much Krom anymore. Uh, Rivers has effectively dropped the character in a lot of ways, and. So, uh, and Mr. R should stop playing the character, but that jab back air properly reacted to Carflow showing that they are just as effective so long as you are very particular when, about when you go off stage. All right, so we're getting the small battlefield. Oh, John's John, home. Yeah, John's home. We call it Xeno 2. Okay. This is the Xeno venue. This is the Xeno stage. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's where John was born. <laughs> we just didn't know it. Yeah, the, you guys yeah. didn't know it. Surprise! Yeah. <laughs> this is, that platform right there, that's where he was baptized. That's, that's <laughs> where it is. That's where it happened. <laughs> it was all here, like just wow. like it was yesterday. <laughs> I remember when we used to do a height marker. <laughs> When John, right, right under that platform. When John was a twinkle in small battlefield size. <laughs> yeah, he, he came from the game. No game, no life. Down air. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. that, that was pretty good. <laughs> Rip season two. <laughs> Rip season two. <laughs> All right. Still. He's oh. finding. Oh, I love that wave line right there. Yeah, I feel like John is much more comfortable with... Uh, it, it, on Spawn Battlefield in general, but it's where you get to see the little optimizations yeah. in positioning really come to play. A lot more wavelands on platforms, a lot more uh, playing around with uh, combos that result in platform tech chases. It's like things that come in, that come off of like labbing and learning and grinding, yeah. but come into play on this stage, more so on this stage. Yeah. And it's kind of crazy because a lot more players are wave landing and, okay, not, Great up tilt to close out soccer and wave landing and wave dashing back now, part yeah. of the meta. And it feels like it took them like four years to realize like maybe we could do what Melee does. But yeah, in like very specific ways. Yeah. Like it's not a movement option, it's a spacing option. Yeah. Which is it, it, it's to catch your opponent whipping a lot yeah. of the time. It's like, okay, if they, I'm gonna land, but psych I'm not landing directly on you. And now I can punish this aerial option or out of shield option. Yeah, the grab there before the soaring slash was able to come out. John pressing yeah. plenty on ledge, and even before that, caught John mashing just a little bit. Carfo finding a big back air and a nair to convert into potential stocks. Yeah, unfortunately, John shooting the stun salutation the opposite way, so Carfo allowing Carfo to get that damage in. Ooh, that was really tricky yeah. jump heights there. A very late fastball, but Carfo scrapping out of the corner and almost being able to find the jab forward smash. Not gonna work out there. Yeah. Oh, dangerous! That's a very late, uh, a slow timer on deep breathing. Won't see that for quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. Deep breathing right now on the other side. Oh, and the untackable it taking matters. it. The deep breathing that deep matters, and Krom can't go that far. But that fast folly changeup made the jab forward smash and a little bit of uh, sus di on the part of numbers. Leading us to a last stop game, a huge reversal from Carflow, who's turning up the damage. Okay, gonna, gonna live right here. Oh, and a late ledge jump as well. One step too far, one step ahead. He's gotta get on yeah. late stage here. Can John make it back? Refresh that ledge of invincibility. John has still not hit the stage for so long. All right, there we go. Wow, what a turnaround from Carflow right yeah. now. It just doesn't stop. The lead trap, the damage, the clank on the volleyball. It's all adding up, and there we go. Reset. One too many jumps from ledge from John, but I mean, 
against Jab at ledge, that extra little bit of height that Krom has, meaning that uh, Jab, I mean, Jab hits uh, ledge yeah. with Roy anyway, but still you're threatening that. You're threatening uh, Jab hits jump at ledge. You don't want to roll in because it's reactable. Yeah. Like, uh, and Krom forward tilts crazy. Like, such a dangerous spot, but right this third stock, or that really, second stock. I want to really quickly, if I have enough time, that that's, the splats in this game, are so well made <laughs> when they just like full body like oh, they, oh my god they're making a snow angel on the stage yeah. it's so funny i want okay i was thinking like oh yeah. fair fair uppy yeah and it's like wait why would you do that <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know it would have been funny yeah. it would have <laughs> yeah, there you go <laughs> Instead, Carflow is just looking for looking for some of these dares at ledge, looking for the setup and the uh, and ways to ways to consistently finish stocks without having to risk body too much. Yeah, and you see a lot of like ledge trapping now being done with Krom. Just ability to like not worry about the super spacing, and we are seeing the jab on backers now coming into play. Yeah, much more prepped around the uh, Krom's level of hits done. Playing fast and the extra little stutter step and the sweet spot to ledge as well. Super clean stuff from Carflow. Still gonna fall victim to a deep breathing forward tilt, but hey, who hasn't? We've got we've got plenty to roll. And it's little little things like that that yeah. make so much of a difference. Uh, sometimes uh, Krom Nair doesn't connect out of down throw. Yeah. Uh, Roy Nair always will. Krom Nair uh, will miss the second hit, so go straight into up airs. And that, that sounds even more devastating. Yeah, I mean, it, it does. Like, you you can just, uh, from zero, go straight into up airs. Battlefield platforms yeah. can make that extremely yeah. hectic. And the lead is still swinging into Carflow's favor because of it. All right. That's the situation right here. And John finally getting doing jump to get out of the situation, but still in the corner. So you know how you're saying in winner's finals, right? Yeah. Uh, Carflow had a really good uh, record on to John as of late, before John uh, found that 2-0. Oh, what a tech! Yeah. Uh, but the, it feels like as Carflow gains momentum, he remembers what is so strong yeah. against numbers and so good about this up-close ledge trapping that's threatening John's uh, planking. I feel like each hit, he gains recollection. Yeah. He, like his memory comes back. It's like a... It's like one of those memory, like you lost your memory in the beginning of the game, and you have have to gather the pieces. Yeah, you got every every hit. It's like it's like oh, I can do this against you. Yeah, you flip up the mm -hmm. cards, you yeah. match the uh, you, you match, match the them. faces. It's like all right, yeah, this oh. works. This is this is something that we uh, this is something that you that has worked before, and I can do again and again and again. Mm -hmm. and that's all these uppers keep connecting. Another big dare coming out from John, though, is, a, a, I mean, these down airs just keep on landing for numbers. But it feels like oh, as num as a car flow gains momentum, sometimes John ends up just reverting into some older ways and yeah. some older habits that work against a lot of players, but stuff that car flow has already walked in yeah. prepared for. It definitely feels like he's being more desperate. Yes. Yeah. It's like some it. stuff in his bag that would have worked against other people. It is just not working against Carflow. He's saying, I've seen these tricks. I've watched the VODs, and they are just not working on me. Yeah. I'm prepared for the numbers experience. Are you prepared for the Carflow experience? That runoff backer coming in just in, enough, in the nick of time, not choosing to punish a sun salutation. Instead, choosing to play safe. At, you're at 77. Any hit could lead you off stage, and any hit could lead to an edge guard. But you just right. can't afford at this point. What's the situation right here? Drop through bear. Okay. A couple jumps. I like the respect. Oh! Any Man. one of those four dares could have been huge, but instead we are sitting still at 120, the yeah. little bit of percent heal mattering. All right, what's the situation now? Can you make it back? The roll! Just getting past Krom's sword. That is such a gambit, but one that is absolutely necessary. Taking this game rips the wind from Carflow's sails. Oh, but yeah. another back here. And everything's gone. Oh, that's, that's, it. It. that's it, that's it, that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah. No tech. So good with so many techs, but not one on that final hit. When yeah, we saw the momentum just switch right after living that situation. It, it was that roll, right? Yeah. That roll you called out? Like, just seeing Carflow 
rather rinse repeat prep on the platform go uh, look for back air after back air as soon as numbers took that risky roll on called out car photos uh, at, spacing. He called out the spacing of like, hey, you dis you're you fainting that you're covering roll, but you're not actually ready to cover roll. And it turned into it turned into a game. Yeah, and now we have game one taken by Numbers, who also took game one of last set. So Carflow, not out of it. But no. does Numbers have the answer to beat Carflow another game? We did on winner's side, but we're in grants of a reset now. What I feel like can be kind of worrisome going into this game too. As much momentum as Carpo has and as much like setups as they are getting or uh, strings as they're getting, yeah. a lot of it is the, the clump consistent stuff, like the jabs into up airs and up airs, up airs, up airs, like spacing out with forward airs and back airs, all that good stuff. But he's not landing the big plays that won him game three, the m huge momentum swingers, the difference makers, the X factors, yeah. things like jab forward smash, those work once, maybe twice a set. Numbers isn't going to try and let that happen again. Yeah, doing a great job. And also, he did a great job of getting these tech rolls on Numbers. And Very true. now, missing almost all of them. Definitely going to play a big part. Yeah, the dangers of a of a character so fast and uh, and the tech roll being their main source of damage yeah. and their main source of stocks, it forces a mini game instead of a straight confirm. And while Krom has straight confirms, they're all on they're they're all around Jab. Which numbers hasn't been hit by in a good while, but though sticking their legs out into that huge back air, Carflow taking the first stock, getting their chance to play with a little bit of a lead and extending it. Alright, what's the situation? Nice. Okay, back air gonna close it out right there. That's a big one. Big back air, meeting Carflow, dropping through the platform. Carflow has been dropping through quite a number of platforms here today. Yeah. All right. And that up tilt, that arm is intangible. She needs it. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's active for like six goddamn frames, too. Yeah. It's fine. Imagine just sticking your arm out there and it's like, yo, <laughs> you can't do anything about it. Okay, <laughs> jab, F smash. Remember when he said he needed it? He, need, he got he, it. He needs it. He, <laughs> he needs, needs it. those. <laughs> Those big momentum swings are what make Carflow, like, make him him. Yeah. Make his play style and his character choices function. Roy can do them more often, but Krom has very specific ways and uh, poten potentially even wider ways to turn those opportunities into stocks. And it makes it makes a huge difference. You're forcing numbers to chase now. And it, it, Krom's pretty fast. Yeah, no, that, that guy... <laughs> Uh, he does not move that fast and fire him. No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> I don't know where Sakurai's getting his bases off. He's like, what if Krom was like an Olympic track runner? Right? Watch, watching VODs of Hussein Bolt. <laughs> this, oh, yes. this, this, this is what I want. <laughs> hey, it works out. Krom may be one of the most uh, fun characters to watch when they start uh, when they start going. Jab one, two, three. That is the boldest thing I've ever seen someone do. <laughs> That's the numbers. Krom is just like, yep, jet here, kill confirm, kill confirm, kill confirm. And John's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up, right, and stare him dead in the eye, and it worked. What a call yeah. out. Yeah, there's no whiff lag here. You, you could just, you could just kept selling it. Still, so a bunch of damage left to go. Has that deep breathing, which does reduce the amount of damage you're taking. Oh my God, dare. Why does these dares keep working? Hey. Yeah, I mean, uh-oh. Oh, uh Again, Krom can smother you forever. Okay, there it is. And, and that, doing so. Yeah, and you saw John go for the crouch right there. And Krom's jab is able to cover that hitbox. Yeah, we've seen a lot of pretty good counterplay to uh, John's. Uh, John just like crouching yeah. in your face. Because one of the one of the big clips from As the As you see right there. like Yeah, just scooping straight up. Uh, one of the big clips from the earlier set. She really being like, ah, ah. Uh, was John like dashing in, dashing back and crouching, baiting out a fair out of shield yeah. from Carflow and punishing it accordingly. Uh, Carflow is not allowed that to happen. It's like, oh, you're crouching, I'm down tilting you. You're yeah. crouching, I'm jabbing you. Like I'm playing 
ground to air instead of air to ground. Yeah, and that's the big thing. Like when you're fighting numbers or we fit in general, you gotta know what moves hit the crouch and like where you can punish this character. Because not a lot of people do play this character and they're really unorthodox to fight because they're not like a traditional character For to sure. fight. Final game. Yeah, this is it. Uh oh. What a tech! He said that twice now, but it's just as impressive every time. And any way you can increase survivability as Krom, it leads into his uh, the rest of his kit, which has very little windows to exploit. Like the, the matchup has is and has always been edge guard Krom or else he out tempos. Yeah, and that's where Krom is the weakest is off stage, and we haven't been really seeing John do that. He's been doing more of like fair straight up kills yeah. in general. So, Whoa! oh my God, oh, still went for the option. Why? Numbers. You saw him charging. John, what the hell is wrong with you? It was eight years you waited. John is just built extraordinary. Like, Was that to send a message? Yeah. It's like, what I, message does that send? <laughs> Imagine getting told you've been doing, this is the wrong option and still doing it. <laughs> and succeeding, he lived. It's like, I know, hit. I know you had a read on me, but I simply didn't get hit by yeah. it. The most <laughs> unreal conditioning I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe he's just like, I'll do the late roll because I'll know it'll whiff. And then he'll go for it again. And the next time I'm going to do normal get up and then run and kill him. And I'll be like, what? Okay, John. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> like, hello? Oh, the up tilt. Yeah. Catching that uh, fair from ledge from Carflow, who I mean, we have seen this story before. Carflow down a whole lot on the second stock on small battlefield. Yeah. So fast! Krom is, is a fast boy, though, and we're seeing the variety that we're... Uh, and we're seeing the, the coverage that Krom can apply. Like, hey, I can burst into your range much quicker than you want me to. I can get in your face, and I can force you to deal with it. But when you get put off stage, this is the risk you take, because you just have to hold that. It's soaring, slash, and prey. Okay, get up attack, rare. He actually hasn't done that a lot. But, as he does another one. Yeah, he just tries it. Let's see if this... Put, put my feet out. See if this works. Nair at ledge. Reset. Lather, rinse, repeat. Yeah, cut, cast a drop. Jab back air would be everything right now. And looks for it, but the parry on the ball instead of the header. Yeah. So it led to a non-true punish. Yeah, that, that was due to the spacing. He did set, take a step back. Yeah. So wasn't correctly spaced to parry the header also. That half step back. Oh, but the half step back doesn't matter against a big four tilt like Crom's and last stock only 23%. Yeah. It's one juggle and number says, I'm not messing with these platforms. Yeah, next stop, <laughs> person to take the next stop wins the tournament. Yeah, this is... All the marbles down. Oh, what an oh. up air. That was so quick from Carflow. Yeah. The threat of Carflow just the, the, that he's been doing in these past couple stocks where he'll just like stand there. Yeah. And normally you used to Carflow, Roy, Krom, just be like, I'm going to press buttons. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do about it? And the answer is like properly with punish yeah. and spacing and all that stuff. It's like, oh, well, what if they're not pressing buttons? Yeah. What then? <laughs> yeah, the change, the change of tempo is so devastating. And Carflow is now back in it. We're finally seeing like a good neutral. So scary. Back airs for back airs. John not getting punished. Carflow just waiting for every hit that, uh, waiting for every hit that he knows he can guarantee. Yeah. And, okay. Oh, another, another dare, yeah. but no punish. Yeah. What right. a, what a non-trigger pull from John. But instead, Carflow setting up on the ledge yet again. Are we gonna see a dare? We will. One, two. Okay. Roll. Yeah. This dude. Yo, pay me. <laughs> <laughs> this dude. This, he's calling out numbers habits better than Carflow is. Another jump, but getting away with it. The jabs were there, but they were just mistimed. Oh Not better than meet that. Yeah. Numbers having to fight down aggressively. Did land on the platform, so they do have their jump back. Oh. Oh, this so is getting scared. scary. And Carflow respecting that space, respecting the backers that are the backers out of shield and backers yeah. everywhere. But there's a dare finally grabbed. And okay, the no, can I look? Deep breathing, definitely helping out right there. Absolutely. The last knockback that you take that you took from it. Numbers getting back on stage. 75 to 119, but the percents at this point do not matter. It just is a matter of can Carflow close out the stock with a back air or jab and Numbers is rolling. Can you force Carflow off stage with you? Get him greedy. Carflow not taking the bait. Instead, just trying to forward tilt. The, the neutral getup was read correctly, but it mistimed. Yeah, shielding the sun salutation. Carflow is not scared. Uh -oh. 
There's the back oh. air. There's the air dodge, but no, no button came out. Oh, and the dash attack on the platform, but no button. Spaghetti City over here, up tilt into up air. Not closing, not closing up the stock quite yet. The onstage battle roars on, continues oh. further. Back air riding it out. All right, deep breathing again. Carfo is fighting every and instinct. Going to close it. Carfo fought every cell in his body yeah. that said, I can run off and fare him. No, it's too much of a risk. Let him come back to stage. The jump out, the jump back. There was so much discipline on Carfo's part. He had to do it. And we, yeah, and caught Sun Salutation right there. John's like go to get off ledge option. Sun Salutation, header, all of yeah. them shut down yeah. by that well spaced, well positioned forward air as Carflo takes the run back, double game three into a Zeno 263 W. Yeah, definitely like beat John in his home. Yeah. Evicted him. He was literally born there. He just kicked him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, what a what a set, what a series of games, and just excellent display of mentality, discipline, and, and yeah. I mean the ability to counterplay numbers from Carflow. Yeah, and we can go back to that second stock of game three. Uh, yeah, who's that, second stock of Carflow? Well, Carflow takes John's second stock. I uh, got you. Yeah. Like, yeah, this, this is cool. where I think, like, it momentum truly switched right here. Because once John gets back to ledge, he hangs there and he does like to wait for a good amount of time, but he doesn't have a lot of air time. So the invincibility lasts a bit quicker, loses a bit quicker, and gets wow, sniped right there. Timing. And that is one of the earliest stocks of John's loss. And John upset. You, yeah. you saw him flashing. That was literally like one of the earliest frames that you could have hit him. Yeah. But, I mean, the high percent plus the long amount of air time, yeah. like just grabbing the ledge and reduced, vulnerabil reduced invulnerability. Uh, what's yeah. more to be said? Yeah. Carflow playing that so well, taking the gambles, taking the crom all the way to a Xeno W. Yeah. Uh, sure. Well sure. played. Uh, oh, okay. Carflow okay, has sure. something to say. Where's the camera? <laughs> I'm an unranked player. <laughs> I'm not putting them on the PR. Also, formally. And you're going to stay unranked with that yeah, attitude, yeah, yeah. young man. Literally, <laughs> literally, like, these kids. Just, why, why do ranking seasons have to matter so much for people? He's formally ranked. We all know you're good. It's not, this isn't the statement it's you like, think it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, I can't believe it. It's just like, it's just, uh, God, it shouldn't be ranked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.